Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to write exponents. What you need for this exercise is strictly a pen or pencil and a piece of paper. Now, writing exponents is, can be a pretty straightforward process, so let's get to it right now. Now, when it comes to writing exponents, there's a couple of things that you want to be aware of. Exponents coexist with space. I'll just den denote it B. The exponent is always going to be at the corner here. Uh, some folks call it a superscript as opposed to a subscript where you write it below the B, but you always write it above the B like so, and that's where the exponent would reside. Now, how you would write this, for example, and say it, they correspond together. So if you have something like 7, 4, it'll be 7 to the 4th power. Now, if you have something like x to the negative 3, that means x will be your base and negative 3 is exponent. That's why they say x to the negative 3 power. Now, typically what ends up happening is in words, the number that's mentioned first or the term that's mentioned first is your base and what's mentioned afterwards is going to be the exponent. So if you have something like hypothetically if you have 7 to the second power, this here is going to be your base. What's mentioned before the word power is going to be your exponent. So second power, that means the 2 is going to go here as your exponent. Now let's just, let's just one, do one more example here. If you have 5 to the eighth power, if everything's in terms of words, don't be intimidated by it. Just go ahead and see what the words actually mean. The number that's mentioned here, 5, that's going to be your base. To the, that's going to tell you what the exponent's going to be. Eighth power, that means the number 8 is here. That's going to be in the exponent position. And that's all you have to do. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to write exponents.